Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So it's going to be a full day of eating and I was eating intuitively, which means I was just being mindful of what I was eating, but I wasn't tracking my macros and I was eating based off of hunger. And in the morning, I'm not that hungry when I wake up, but I know I have to eat or else I will be super cranky and that's the last thing I need while I'm in class. This is one of my favorite breakfast meals and I had two scrambled egg I showed you guys the time just to let you know like I was done before 7 o'clock, like 2 minutes before 7 o'clock and I normally take off from my house around 7.25 for school because I have class at 8 a.m. Then moving on to my snack that I had after class, well my classes, and it is my current favorite pea science waffle recipe. So it's just half a scoop of pea science chocolate cupcake with a little bit of pancake mix and some milk. And it seriously tastes like chocolate rice crispy guys. Like if you think I'm lying, you need to try this out for yourself. It's delicious. Okay guys, so this is a really sad sandwich. It's really sad. But I really didn't feel like chopping up lettuce or I really didn't want spinach and I also don't like tomatoes. So this is what's gonna happen. And I'm gonna heat it up for about 15 seconds and this is gonna be my pre-workout meal. Um, this is my go-to pre-workout. It's pea science, it's alphamine and high volume. Alphamine is a powder thermogenic and it helps, you make, it helps make you sweat along with giving you a clear boost of energy and high volume is a caffeine free pump product. So that's why a lot of people combine it with alphamine because alphamine contains the caffeine. We just got back from the gym and we're about to have like our favorite go-to post-workout meal. I highly recommend it. It's like completely balanced. For those of you who are cur curious as to why I'm showing you how to make rice, I've been asked so many times like how to avoid making it super sticky and all I do is just add extra water than what is recommended. Alright, also we have half a cup of uncooked rice, um, bell peppers, avocado, and about six to eight ounces of chicken, probably six to seven, and it's topped with barbecue sauce, so I'm gonna enjoy this as my post-workout meal. After I was done eating that meal, I decided to have one chocolate rice cake. Okay guys, so I'm ending off the night with a chipotle bowl with brown rice, pinto beans, chicken, sour cream cheese and lettuce and I'm also gonna add um, about half of this guac in there. Moving on to the leg workout for this video. My goals going into this workout was to hit a PR of at least, I was thinking 260 pounds for hip thrust. The most I had done was 225. So I did want to aim for that PR and as you guys just saw, I did 245 pounds for, four, for six reps, my bad. And then we jumped up to 270 and I got a total of four reps, so I was really happy with that. I did not include my warm-up sets. I just did about, I believe it was two sets of 135 and then I was just continuously increasing the weight. So the next movement we're doing is Romanian deadlifts and I wanted to talk just a little bit about form for this one. You want to make sure that your neck and your spine are neutral. You want them to be basically like straight whenever you're going down. You don't want your neck to be looking up. You don't have to look at yourself in the mirror for this movement. And make sure to squeeze your glutes once you come to the top. And whenever you're going down during the movement, make sure you feel a stretch in your hamstrings.
Here we're doing cable hip extensions, but you can just look up an ankle strap on Amazon and you'll be able to find one there. I was using 30 pounds for this movement and that was the most I've ever done, so I was actually really surprised and I felt a really good burn in my glutes. Moving on to a superset to finish off the workout, these are called cable walkouts and these burn really freaking bad, but make sure you're pivoting your foot whenever you're going back and forth. You don't want to keep it completely straight. And then we moved on to cable squats and these feel really good with your glutes. Um, use a heavier weight if you can. I don't know why I was going that light. I think it's because my glutes were so burnt out already. But I hope you guys enjoy the workout. Make sure to let me know if you try it out or try any of the meals. I hope you guys have a great day. Give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next one.